Tourists from all around the world come to the city to admire its beauty without knowing that most of the stuff they're looking at are actually copies, not originals. And in today's video, we're gonna show you which ones are the originals and which ones are the copies. Now, the astronomical clock behind me is most likely the most visited tourist attraction in Prague. The bottom part, the calendar board, was originally placed here in 1865. That was the original. Now, when was it replaced with a copy, you ask? 15 years later, in 1880. They were worried that it's gonna get destroyed with rain, wind, and snow. So they replaced it, 1880, first copy. Now, that's not the last one. Then they replaced it after the Second World War in 1946 because the entire astronomical clock was damaged, roughly. You can see it in the historical pictures. Now, the copy from 1946 lasted till 2018. And in 2018, they made a new copy that is currently in place. And this newest copy that we're looking at right now cost a huge outrage in the media because if you look closely at the copy and compare it to the original it is very very different now funny enough in one tv show they actually mentioned this čtyři roky chodí pražané kolem zrekonstruovaného orloje a čtyři roky si nikdo nevšiml že restaurace původního Mánesova kalendária se od svého originálu zásadně liší now let's be fair there is no way you can tell what the faces of the characters look like on the calendar board from this distance. So it is pretty obvious that nobody noticed for four years. Now they noticed and the city is deciding if they want to make a new copy to make it look more like the original, which would make it the fifth copy in the row. Yet people still think it is the original, it is not. Oh, wait, one more thing. If you do want to see the original of the calendar board from the astronomical clock, you can. It is in the Prague Museum that unfortunately is closed till the end of 2023. But once they open, you can go see it much closer. Now, just to be clear, we're not showing you all the copies there are in Prague, but the most obvious ones and the ones you will look at for sure, like this Marian column behind me. The original one was placed here in 1650 and then it was torn down in 1918 as a revolt against the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. People tore it down. It was damaged. The original pieces of it are hidden in a museum. And this one is a replica. It's a copy from 2020. Now, how do I know it's a copy? I partially worked on it. You may be wondering, how come they let me touch it? Well, because I have a friend who has a friend and he knows the sculpturist who made it. Also, it is not complete. There are still four angels missing on the side. And according to the sculpturist, it's gonna take another eight years to make those copies. So if you come here in eight years, hopefully they'll be there. Hey man, it's good that you're climbing on a copy and not the original, right? <laughs> One of the things you will see for sure as a tourist are these historical cars. Now, here's the fact. They are not historical, they are replicas. I do remember that there used to be old cars driving tourists around the city. They were old Škodas and they looked amazing. But taking care of an old car, historical, takes some time and money. That's why they created these replicas. Uh, now, fun fact, when the city made a check on them, when they checked their uh, technical status, they found out that out of 58 of these cars, 55 did not pass. Some of them were registered as tractors or snowmobiles, believe it or not. And there's many of them in Prague. Some things you'll see on the street, you don't even need to question if it's a copy or a replica or original or whatever the hell that is. We are on the historical old Royal Way of Prague and most of the stuff here is very old. I mean, it looks old like this wood paneling on this building. Yet, if you look at Google Street View from 12 years ago, you'll find out that this is brand new and it's changed the way the house looks a lot. So it's not a copy, it's not a replica, it is brand new, trying to look like old. By the way, if there's something that you'll see the most on this street, it is the old, traditional, original Trdelnik. Is it original? Let's find out. So let's talk about Trdelnik. There's only one thing I can say about Trdelnik. It is very popular in Czech Republic. 
Now, if you question the origins or if it's traditional or not, uh, usually somebody will always say the opposite in the comments, so it doesn't matter what I say. So let's go to the only source on the internet that we can trust. Let's go to Wikipedia. And on Wikipedia, I found that a popular Czech journalist said that here in the Czech Republic, having a hamburger is more traditional than having a trdelník. Now, I don't know if I can quote myself, but I just did that, so deal with it. And I promise to you, we will get on the trdelník journey, on the trdelník uh, history, and for once, and all we will find out if it is or isn't traditional. For that we will probably go to Hungary and Slovakia, but stay tuned, subscribe, we will find out for you. We are on the Charles Bridge, and it's not only a bridge, but it's some sort of a gallery also, because there's many statues around. And people tend to think that all the statues are originals. Uh, then on the other hand, some people think that all of them are copies. It's neither of those. There's 12 copies on the bridge as of right now. This one is from 1980. This one is from 1908. Believe it or not, for today's video, not only I made a screenplay, I made a little map for myself. But there's some really cool uh, statues and copies I want to talk about. Follow me. Now, what would be the honest guide without some fun fact? So here's one for you about the statues. This one right here is a copy from 1913. And the other one on the other side is from 1928, but it's not a copy, it's an original. Now, how can a copy be older than the original statue? Well, the reason is that before this statue, there wasn't the same one. There was a completely different statue that was replaced with a new statue. Therefore, it can be one of the newest statues on the bridge, yet it is an original. By the way, if you're curious where all the other originals are of the statues, uh, some of them are hidden in a museum, sort of that way, and the other ones are hidden in the basement of the Vyshehrad castle, where you can actually go look at them. But, there's always a but, there's one more category of statues, and those are not copies, this one is an original, but it replaced a different statue that was here previously. Now, where is the previous statue, you ask? It's not in the museum, nor in the basement of the Vyshehrad castle, it is actually at a hospital. Uh, I was there yesterday to check it out and it is there. It is kind of cool that you go to a hospital that is right there at the end of the street and suddenly there's an original statue from the Charles Bridge. I talked to one of the doctors. He was like, why are you filming that? And I said, dude, it's a statue from the Charles Bridge. He was like, oh, I didn't know that. I said, there's a sign that says it. Uh, so he was quite surprised. So if you want to impress your friends and show them a statue from the Charles Bridge, original one, take them to the Prague Hospital. <laughs> By the way, not only the statues are being replaced, also many of the stones, as you can obviously tell. If you're curious where the original stones are, they're in a place called Mashutce, where I actually saw them uh, stored in a hangar. But one more thing. This statue uh, is a copy from 1971, and it's been spray painted over. And this city never cleaned the graffiti because they said that it is a valuable masterpiece and that they cannot clean it with any chemicals or with power wash. It is not. It's from 1971. We drive in older cars and we ride on older trams. And if somebody spray paints over those, we just power wash it down. So it's kind of funny that the city treats replicas copies from 1971 as if they were originals and they rather keep the graffiti on them. Kind of silly. Original, copy, copy, original. By the way, in one of the previous videos, we begged you and the tourists not to climb statues on the Charles Bridge. Well, just recently, somebody climbed up on this one, and as they were coming down, they grabbed this sword from the Turk and they broke it off. Uh, so it's now being replaced. Once again, it will be a copy because it's not the first nor the last time somebody broke it. As you can see, there are many stories to be told on the Charles Bridge. So if you want us to do like a live stream with a friend of mine who knows a lot about the statues on the bridge, let us know and we can do that.
When you are in Prague and you will put Eiffel Tower in the Google search, the first result will actually not be the Eiffel Tower, but the Petsin Lookout Tower here in Prague. And yes, they look similar, yet this is not a copy of the Eiffel Tower. It was inspired by it. It is much smaller. And the story is that the club of Czech tourists went to Paris uh, for the World Expo to see the Eiffel Tower in 1889. They came back to Prague and they said, we want to build something similar, yet much smaller. And it took them half a year to build this inspiration of the Eiffel Tower. Now, if you think that the Eiffel Tower is taller, it is 5.6 times taller. But if you're standing at the top of the Petsin Tower, you're actually higher in altitude because the Petsin Tower is on a hill and the Eiffel Tower is not. If you prefer a copy or an original, I'll leave that up to you. But I must say that some originals should require maybe at least uh, some repairs. Uh, I hope you will take our walk that we did today and you will maybe discover even more originals and copies and let us know in the comments what you found on your own. Uh, I'll see you here next week on our channel Honest Guide. Ahoy! As usual, I'll teach you a Czech word at the end. This time, two words uh, and they're pretty obvious. How to say copy uh, in Czech it's Kopie. If you want to say copy, it's kopie. And original is original. Original, original.